It is now time for What's Hot. This is where we talk about the stories that have us all talking. We're joined today by Rochelle Fritch, blogger from MilwaukeeMoms.com. Plus, Jeff Wagner is back. Many teens are now getting drunk by smoking alcohol. This is what they do. Pressurize a bottle with beer, liquor, or wine in the bottom. Then they inhale the vapors. Sucking in the alcohol fumes, bypasses the liver, sends the ethanol straight to the lungs and brain. This whole thing's gone viral. I guess, you know, you'll save your liver, but if you ever need your brain in the future, you might be out of luck. Well, let me be real clear. Our, 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 our producer, Tara, said keep this short and sweet. Let me put it like this. Yeah, this is if, an easy one If to you up. do this, you are dumb as a bag of hammers. This is dangerous. You will end up in the emergency room. You might end up in the morgue. This is stupid. Well, how can I add to that? I mean... It is. I just wonder how big of a problem it is, and I'm just happy, at least that the Partner for Drugs, uh, Drug Free America has picked up on it. Uh, that site is just for parents, as it is for kids, so parents can learn more about it. Right. The good things, though, about uh, everything going viral these days is that you know about it. Right. You know, back in our day, vodka eyeballing. Yeah. Vodka tampons, I believe yes. we did a story on uh, at one point. Back in our now day, this. you had to hear about it through the rumor mill, you know, like you maybe overheard your kid talking. Now, it's up for everybody to see that this is a trend. I so just wonder can... who comes up with this stuff, though. How do, how do you discover you can do that? That's well, my question. Yeah, well, bet, some people think better living through chemistry. This is not the way to approach <laughs> that. Just, if you got to have a beer, do it the old-fashioned way and sip it and enjoy it, for goodness sakes. But only if you're legal. Only if you're of the legal Thank legal you. Legal. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and now more of what's hot. <laughs> Michelle Frisch is here. She, she blogs for MilwaukeeMoms.com and Jeff Wagner. You hear him on the radio at News Radio 620. All right, Pope Francis was a last-minute no-show at the Gala Classical Concert where he was the guest of honor. An archbishop told the crowd of cardinals and Italian dignitaries an urgent commitment that can't be postponed would prevent the Pope from attending. The picture of an empty chair was actually used in a lot mm. of Italian papers. Um, are they surprised? Uh, first of all, I think one of the first things, and I'm not Catholic, so you can correct me if I'm wrong, that the Pope said um, and actually demonstrated through leadership is that he values humility. And I think what he's doing is really kind of um, leading by example. Um, for instance, he doesn't live in the official place where the Pope lives. Um, and, and the other thing, it's not as if he didn't show up at the concert because he wanted to go to a soccer game. Mm -hmm. He's actually mm -hmm. taking care of things to clean up the Catholic Church, which he also said was something that's a high priority. So, you know, maybe they need to take a lesson mm -hmm. or a cue from Motel 6 and say, we'll leave a light on <laughs> for you and we'll invite you and not necessarily expect him to come because I think this is going to happen more and more. Yeah, I, I think that's the message that he was trying to send was essentially we, we've got some big issues and I'm going to be spending my time dealing with those. Now having said that, I re appreciate that this was scheduled before he became Pope. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, if you knew you weren't going to be going, maybe you make that phone call and say he's sure. not going to be available um, so that uh, avoids all this controversy. But I, I think he's got his nose to his, the grindstone. That's mm -hmm. what I think this is about. Anybody know, is the Pope still wearing the red Prada loafers no. that Pope Benedict was so fond of? No, no I, I don't imagine he is if he's no. yeah, he I mean, very, line very expensive shoes. I don't, so. I don't think he's doing that. All right. We'll take a quick break. Thank you both for joining us. We're a little over on time, so topic three will come up another day. We'll be right back.